So here we have Dredge, and this deck has been around for a little while. It did recently lose Golgari Grave Troll, which was in the deck before, but instead we see Golgari Thug, which has Dredge 4 rather than Dredge 6, like the Grave Troll did, and then some more life from the Loams, but the deck has remained relatively the same. We've got our Dredgers, we've got our Looters, we've got our creatures that come back from the graveyard. So the mana base is a Jun base. And we'll see, you see Dakmore Salvage here as the land that can actually be dredged back. Um, and then some fetch lands. We want to be just getting some of these lands back from the graveyard with Life in the Loam. Uh, on turn one, we're able to cast a looting spell. So Insolent Neonate is one way to loot. Um, but then Faithless Looting is, of course, the looting itself. So there's various ways that this deck has to both discard and draw cards so that you're not just drawing cards during your draw step as a way of dredging. You're able to do so in order to speed the clock up. Narcomoeba is one of those creatures that comes back from the graveyard when you do dredge. If Narcomoeba gets dredged, you can just put it straight into play. And if this does come into play in that fashion, you can then bring a prized amalgam along with it at your end of turn, assuming there's a prized amalgam in the graveyard. So Golgari Thug, one of the dredgers. And normally you're not casting this card, you're just putting it in your graveyard, getting four cards into the yard, and that's what it's doing. The Blood Gas, whenever you play a land, you can get this back from the graveyard. It's a 2-1. If your opponent's at 10 or less life, then this card ha comes into play with haste. Um, so that can be pretty important. And sometimes you want to be thinking about holding a land or a way to put a land into play so that you can bring this back. And, and sometimes you just forget, but try to remember um, Blood Gas keep a land in hand or a fetch land in play so that you can bring back it whenever you want want to or might need to, and then the prized amalgams can come along with the blood guest as well. Cathartic Reunion is the best draw spell in the deck because you're discarding two, but you're dredging three. So it's just exactly what you want to be doing discarding first so you're able to pitch your dredgers then you can dredge them back and you can just dump say 15 cards into your graveyard for two mana is perfect life from the loam we're able to bring back lands which is really nice because you want to have your hands stocked for conflagrate so that you can comp Conflagrate for a nice large number and make the card more impactful, and Life from the Loam allows you to do that. Stinkweed Imp is the, bre it's the best dredge creature in the format right now, so it does dredge 5, and then it's also a 1-2 death touch with flying, so sometimes you will hard cast it on boards and it'll be relevant. Um, Prized Amalgam, it's super important to the deck. Um you'll be able to get these back from your graveyard and this is probably the most important win condition the deck is playing a lot of the time you will just flood the board with three threes and if your opponent kills one you can then get them back haunted dead it's another discard outlet and way to get prized amalgams back from the graveyard. Conflagrate normally finishes games or can deal with little creatures your opponent has into play. So you'll normally dredge one at some point and then have a bunch of cards left in your hand. And Conflagrate is a great way to make use of those cards. So a lot of decks are going to be boarding in various graveyard hate cards against you. That's the nature of playing this deck is you have to be ready for games two and three to be tougher because there are certain cards that just completely hose what you're trying to do. 
So Thoughtseize is a way of hedging and saying, look, I'm going to board in Thoughtseize. If you don't have the Graveyard Hate card, I can just Thoughtseize one of your other cards. Or if you do, I can Thoughtseize that Graveyard Hate card and just have a nice versatile answer to what your opponent is doing. Abrupt Decay is another one of those answers. So your opponent might have an annoying permanent, like say a Rest in Peace. You want to just get that thing off the table, or you can just use it to get rid of an opposing creature. Lightning Axe is both a discard, outlet, and removal all rolled into one, which is important. So you'll see both Collective Brutality and Lightning Axe are discard outlets, but they also do other things, um, which is important. So you're able to maybe board out some of your other discard outlets for more interactive ones. Gnaw to the Bone is great against Burn and Aggro. Basically, if you resolve this card and your opponent doesn't respond with something like a Skullcrack, you will just win the game. Um, that's how good it is. Ancient Grudge is here for the artifact decks, and you will dredge into them, so the flashback is actually more important than the front half of this one. And then Dark Blast is for the small creature deck. Sometimes you'll face off against Infect or Affinity, and you'll want this card. 